up. Uh, yeah, I was able to go home last night, despite everything happening. So, definitely a better mood. Um, came to a loves. It's popping over here, dude, no matter what time of day it is. So, I, I was real, like, skeptical about finding parking here last night. Uh, so, I got here around a couple times didn't see any spots open and lo and behold a bobtail was on his 30 he flashed me he's like man you can take my spot right here right on the end there's a nice little spot right here for my wife to park when she goes to pick me up you know she's safe from all these all the traffic and shit so uh i lucked out getting here okay like that was just a sign another sign is that i got rolling again yesterday on a sunday in four hours with the problem that i had it was uh a problem with uh the what is it dryer or something like that I believe they called it uh, like there's a filter inside of it that's obviously probably the reason why this is causing problems with what what they had to remove yesterday but it was very problematic to, to remove that um, it was under warranty still but uh, the tow would have cost a lot because I had an automatic so it's I don't know how that would have worked to get towed because I can't just put it in neutral and roll uh, when the brakes are set, you, know, you get what I mean? So, um, plus I'm loaded, you know, I'm at like 67 gross right now. So it probably would have fucked up the drivetrain or something. It would have fucked up more. So I paid $500 to get them to replace it. The truck's working now. Uh, governor, you know, it's up to the, like 130 uh, and it fluctuates, but it never goes below 100% or 100 PSI. So it, it's good. We're doing good with it. And it's rolling, I'm rolling with it, and everything's good. But, uh, <clears throat> I guess getting out of here is going to be a bitch. But, uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> four hours down. They call around to all these different shops. Not one fucking shop has the part they need for this truck. Out of fucking nowhere, the gods shined down this day on this rainy, fucking, horrible, stormy fucking day. Because it did start raining eventually. Bad bad storm came through like 60 mile an hour winds and shit and they were still up under my truck working on it so like thank god for that uh and then uh they call around all these places nobody has the part good goddamn, did they not have the fucking part on the truck that they were there like that was there behind parked behind me they had the part they needed on the truck otherwise i would have had to have gotten towed to a peterbilt dealership they're closed on sundays and i would have had to wait till today to get something done um, so, thank God that worked out. So, I finally get rolling again. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon. I run as far as I can, as fast as I can. Of course, I'm as safely as I can. But, uh, I get out, start driving. I get close. I'm in Beaumont. Uh, I know I'm only about an hour away from this love that I want to stop at because it's by the house. I, I still wanted to take a 10 in my house. So, I look at my clock and it says I, I, won't, I won't get here until 4 hours and 30 minutes later. Because I had I-10 shut down right where I was right where I was about to exit. And luckily I caught it. And I happened to be on the phone with my wife at the time. And she's like, yeah, just take 90. Because uh, when uh, Harvey hit many years ago, that's the road she had to take. It's like literally parallel with I-10. There's just a couple of lights. Uh, and I gotta take a couple back roads to get back to I-10 to get around that shit. It's about eight miles of uh, shut down road that they were trying to repave uh, on the weekend before, you know, uh, people stop driving for the day and there's like less traffic, you know what I mean? So uh, three hour delay for that bullshit. Luckily I jumped around it, I only added another half hour to my trip and I still got enough fuel to get me uh, to my stop uh, in uh, New Caney. So, I believe the new Caney stop I'm going to, it's a Walmart di distro, so I'll be able to most likely go about two hours early, so after I'm done filming this, I'll most likely leave. I got a pro I'm probably going to fill up some Reaper fuel, but it ain't going to be here. I'm going to just try to get the fuck out of here because there's too many goddamn, there's too much traffic here right now. Uh, way too much fucking traffic. So once I get out of Houston and I get closer to New Caney, it should, it should work out a little bit better. So yeah, um... A good rule of thumb is to not record a video when, uh, in the heat of the moment when you're pissed. I had, it's been a very rough week. Like, very rough week. So, 
you know, just it may not be that it's big. Shut up. It may not be the biggest problem. Of course, it does suck. I'm down. I'm not rolling. Drive to Shut up. God damn. I'm not rolling, right? I'm losing time. I'm only I'm about 48 minutes away from uh, from my stop, so it, I'm I'm literally it's it's not it's about almost one o'clock, so I'll get there early. But uh, you know, I had time, and uh, everything worked out. But just with everything piling on to each other at one point in time, you know, um, it just. It just eats at you man like back to back you know like kicking you when you're down you know what I mean so I guess in a way it's not totally bad that that happened because uh, you know you're gonna you get to see kind of what's going on and a lot of people can relate like they see like it's just back to back to back to back if it's not loads being problematic uh, then the truck breaks down you know, fucking, I don't know, maybe I'll piss myself uh, this week, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping for uh, smooth sailing for the next, like, week or two, I hope, like, there's enough shit that's been going on that I, I really hope that, you know, like right now, the truck's running, it was at 1.30, and now we're at 1.15, but, yeah, I mean, it's holding pressure, so, uh, and it's building pressure, so that works out, but. We'll see, man. Uh, I got I gotta get some consistent fucking checks rolling in because I ain't making no goddamn money right now. And yeah. Now, granted, you know the falling in the mud thing, uh, and then of course having to get wasting the day. That's partially my bad, uh, but shit happens. You know what I mean? And then now it's this. Everything else is kind of just falling into place. I'm letting the air pressure go down a little bit and I'm gonna see if it builds back up because yeah it's building back up all right so we're good uh, for now at least uh, we'll see what happens I got my bottle of water I'm only 50 minutes away from my stop and I'll most likely stop at another loves or something on the way to get reefer fuel and probably top off my dip um, because I'm at a quarter tank of dip that shit just takes forever to fill up and I hate doing it. <laughs> Plus you gotta sit there and hold it. And it's hot as fucking balls right now. It's 101 degrees. Summer is gonna suck, dude. Summer already sucks. August is gonna be fucking horrible, but luckily, at least for however many days the training takes, I'll be inside of a building all day training to be a trainer. Uh, and then I'll probably be outside with the, 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 the orientation peeps doing vacuum maneuvers until fucking midnight but i won't have to go to the luna i'll be able to just chill there in my truck so anyways that's that's what's going on uh things are things are better now but if i do films if i do this shit every single fucking day one day it's gonna be bad one day it's gonna be good you know that's just that's how it's gonna work uh, out here man like good days bad days good days bad days good day good day bad day bad day bad week good week um I don't know. Maybe it's it's cool. I know a lot of y'all like watching my, my channel. I can't believe so many of you guys still watch it though. I'm not really talking about like you guys are just watching the journey now. It's not really more about like learning how to drive a truck. And I just realized in my last video that a lot of y'all are vets. Y'all have been driving trucks and y'all are just watching me to see my journey. Like and that's fucking cool, man. I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna get ready to roll. Uh, AC I think has pretty much done its job getting the truck not super hot but when I start driving that compressor will kick back on and it'll probably get a little cooler in here because I got everything maxed out if you can't tell from all the fucking noise in the background but I'm gonna get ready to roll I got me uh oh hey yeah right I, I went home I got me some new kicks damn bro yeah wife got me some new some new shoes uh throw out my old pieces of crap that I've, that I've been rolling around with ow I got me this yeah. What is this, you might ask? Might be a little graphic. I'm not gonna demonstrate it here, but this this sits on the floor, okay? You gotta see where this is going. Sits on the floor right here. I got, my, I got me a pair of shorts on. Got me a little, uh, little thing right here. Just pop it off like that. I don't like 
like this riveted fucking thing here though, dude. Like the riveted, that's gonna be hard as fuck to clean. You know, why don't they just have like a regular tube? Why is it gonna be riveted like that? You stick your dick in that thing, and you just let it loose, and it goes down and down and into this little container here, holding all your urine. <laughs> it might be gross, but dude, you do what you gotta do, man. I don't know what chicks got. You know, uh, maybe somebody can chime in with that. Like what chick, what chicks got to be able to pee in or whatever. Uh, and then of course my wife got me this because it's summertime. So, you know, it's like a, a neck fan, bro. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> no, hold on. Let's see if it's on. Yeah! Am I facing it the right way? I don't know which way. I'll have to play with it. But yeah, if it gets hot, I'm like, man, it's hot as fuck out here, bro. Oh, oh that's it right there. Bam! Like going into loves, you know? I'm, yeah, I'm like fucking hot. It's got my little fans on right here. Yeah, turn that shit on high blast, bro. Yeah, dude, that's nice. That's nice. All right. So, oh, they died. It died already. Uh, I haven't charged it. Yeah. So I'm gonna charge it, and then I'll wear it whenever I finally stop. Anyways, uh, remember, gents and ladies, love and fucking ready to take care. And I'll see y'all another time. Hopefully, it won't be a a mad video again. <laughs> All right, later.